Hello everyone. Today Tejeshwini, one of our recorded batch student, has joined us. She has cleared CSIR NET with All India rank 87, and she had cleared JRF this time. Uh, let's talk to her. And first of all, Tejeshwini, welcome to the platform. And how you are feeling after this achievement? Thank you, sir. Thank you for this interview, first of all. I'm so happy, sir, uh, after getting this JR of, uh, I'm so happy. I didn't expect that I'll get uh, All India rank 87, mm. um, but yeah, uh, hard work <laughs> never fails. Yes. I remember we were uh, constantly in conversation, what is going to happen, sir? It is a borderline case, mm. or <laughs> whether yeah. I will be so getting JR of or not. So yes. how was that experience when you were waiting for the result? Yes, sir, because after completing the exam, everyone uh, around us said oh, this time exam is very easy, so cutoff mm -hmm. will be very high. So I thought, uh, okay, maybe if cutoff come around 105 to 110, mm -hmm. then I'll be in trouble. So mm -hmm. I thought, uh, I'm in a borderline case. So I thought uh, when the mark is less than 105, then I'll be safe. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this time 102.5 is a good uh, score. So for what was your exact score? 109.5. Okay, so it's a very good score, 109.5. Uh, so let's start from a little beginning. First of all, tell us from where you have completed your UG, PG. Yes, sir. I've done uh, BSc Chemistry in Ethiraj College for Women, Chennai, uh, okay. Tamil Nadu. Then I've done MSc Organic Chemistry uh, in the University of Madras, uh, Chennai. Uh, so then uh, I started preparing full time for CSIR Net and GATE. So, when it was the first time you decided that you are going to give net exam after your MSc? Sir, at the second year of my MSc, uh, most of my friends and my professors encouraged you need to do a PhD with good uh, stipend. Means you need to qualify your uh, JRF. Okay. So, um, I focused more on CSAR net rather than GATE exam because mm -hmm. GATE also we need to get a uh, score, but a uh, good score uh, to get, get into the admission. Mm -hmm. But for CSAR net, uh, if you qualify JRF itself, it's a big task. So, I thought um, getting JRF itself is a big deal for me. So, I prepared mostly for CSAR exam. Mm -hmm. And yeah, at the second year of my MSc, I decided I need to study, sit and study for JRF. Okay. And uh, uh, which attempt was this when you cleared the JRF? This is my third attempt, sir. Uh, first two times I didn't qualify. This is my third one. So what was your experience in the first two attempts? And what changes did you did that you succeeded this time? Sir, first time at my MSc, I didn't study. Like okay. uh, I just went and uh, uh, give the exam. I just got only four, around 40 marks. And I didn't uh, uh, even think of uh, studying and getting JRF. So I mm. thought, okay, maybe if I get the gap after MSc, I can sit and study. So I can mm. have time for my preparation. So last time, uh, June 2024, I gave the second attempt. And mm. I got, uh, it's nearly 60, 65 marks only. Okay. I didn't even get the LS uh, third, uh, third category only. Mm. So um, uh, then this is my third attempt, uh, December 2024. I joined IFS and uh, I started my full-time preparation with uh, doing previous year questions, mock test, and selectively studying the topics. Last time I didn't, uh, I just focused more on physical chemistry, even though if I uh, didn't understand that much. Uh, mm. but. This time I think okay if I if I can go with organic and inorganic I can score more mark than physical. So I thought um, I changed the path and um, um, uh, previous questions I practiced La uh, last time I didn't do anything okay. and uh, mock test I have done unit test also. Uh, so practice this time I did more practice I think. Okay, so the very first attempt you just went and to see how the exam comes. In second yes. attempt you were. You have prepared a little bit, but the practice was missing. So the main yes. thing I think which contributed this year was the practice which you did. Yes, and the, uh, like revision also, sir. Like I used to study mm. maximum the class notes and everything, but this time I did I, uh, separately do my revision as well as preparation because new new topics if we study we will forget. Yes. Uh, revision is important, so this time I did that also. Uh, how did you cope up with the weakest portion of your, like you said, you, you were not comfortable in physical chemistry. 
so how you manage that because there are lots of student who face difficulty sometimes in physical chemistry so what should be a good strategy to leave the entire physical chemistry or to do some topics what was your strategy over this so i think we should not leave completely because uh, easy topics are also there in physical chemistry like solid state you can study right. um chemical kinetics so then and there like michael mandel's equation these are all uh, iis scoring topic easily mm. you can uh, study chemical uh, chemical kinetics yeah you can study electrochemistry also you can study i think most of us feel difficult in quantum chemistry so i left quantum chemistry this time i didn't prepare quantum okay. so surface chemistry collides and all it's a minor topic so we can include one or two questions can come on that topic hmm. so i did that topics i think four topics from physical chemistry i did okay so you have only chosen four topics of physical and you have done the entire syllabus for organic and inorganic ah yes sir okay and how much questions of physical you attempted in your exam a uh, three questions sir uh, from, uh, actually uh, three to four questions i can say uh, from part c to three question part b two question i think five questions sir so in total you have attempted five questions uh, five. only for physical chemistry yeah okay and what about part a part a six questions i i, I got right one question were wrong i had attempted seven questions and okay. I got so six correct. Did you prepared for part A? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, some formulas like mathematical formulas we need to remember, like mm -hmm. area, that uh, volume, and all. Hmm. Basic and some logic questions is enough, sir. Like we got uh, so many uh, reasoning and logical questions this time. Just hmm. seeing the question itself, we can answer. So, do you think we should dedicate a separate time for the general aptitude, or we can just practice the previous year questions? what do you feel about this sir i think uh, no need to spend uh, separately for part a you can uh, practice uh, previous year questions and uh, maybe some tricks in the youtube lectures then mm. and there you can wherever you have uh, free time apart from the chemistry you can uh, do part a questions also mm. maybe previous year questions were there you, you can practice that mostly the concepts are same questions are only different sir so if you get the concept i think part a no need to spend more time yes uh, one thing also you have chosen the recorded courses so how you used to plan your day because uh, uh, in the live lectures we give you the schedule you have the live lectures timings in the recorded it is you who are going to decide everything so how yes. you planned your day and how you do, did your revision actually sir uh, i'll start by 9 o'clock only i won't wake up early uh, so 9 o'clock if we start also like hmm. uh, full it's my full time preparation i'm not going any job or something so i have full day hmm. so or uh, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock if i start maybe i'll start with organic 2 uh, hours then uh, some break then one or 2 hours i can go with inorganic Hmm. uh then a lunch break or after that you can take uh, rest and then also uh, live lectures youtube lectures are there and uh, then and there you can practice the question if we are very tired of studying the topics hmm. so yeah sir but it's difficult if uh, we study alone because there is no restriction at the class timings and all hmm. so but we need to study <laughs> one day if we leave also the second day we need to be very conscious about the time and uh, st study time as well as the practice time so morning and evening i used to study night also i will uh, awake late up to 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock also so um, midnight studies work for me so okay. i used to study like that so how much are you dedicated uh, let's suppose if we want to come to a figure and how much hours should a student study daily so so that he can crack this exam comfortably so for me actually uh, at the beginning i studied only 5 hours 5 to 6 hours only sir um but okay. uh, after november december i uh, just did a schedule and timetable like uh, this time i need to do so totally i did uh, 8 hours per day okay and uh, were any time in your preparation where you feel very demotivated or you feel stuck uh, and then how you deal with that situation yes sir uh, actually yeah it's there always uh, when we get mock test or also mm. uh, sometimes if you prepare also we feel uh, the topic is really tough i feel always demotivated then and there so mm. i just close the book and do some other things uh, like i'll go out and i'll eat mm. whatever the thing i i like to do 
uh, if we distract some like divert our mind will uh, will be somewhat fresh and then back to our studies i think that's good sir yes just need to take a break yeah and what are the sources you used to prefer for practicing questions so questions uh, previous the questions we can do it uh, if we have uh, any uh, materials from online also hmm. uh, or else uh, any youtube lectures or also there is our uh, previous year question we hmm. can practice um, for mock test or you want to uh, practice the questions along with the timer uh, we can purchase the test series also hmm. so that we can stick to the time and practice okay and uh... how much contribution was uh, uh, from youtube in your preparation and there will be also a language barrier we used to take lectures in hindi so how you used to cope up with that actually um, youtube is a major uh, uh, part played in my uh, preparation because mm. the recorded also uh, at the beginning i used to watch all the recorded lectures sir but uh, uh, yeah if we have any doubt or the current uh, important topics or previous day questions all and all we need to discuss in the live lectures hmm. because that is new so i always used to watch all the live lectures of ifs like 5 o'clock inorganic and uh, physical then 9 o'clock organic lectures hmm. so all the lectures i used to watch and yes sir actually that is very important and that helped me a lot because um reference book questions also you will solve so we no need to separately spend time if we don't have time also it's no problem right. so reference book question is important mm. and uh, youtube lectures yes uh, hindi is a barrier for me only <laughs> but um, yeah i can understand little bit hindi if you mm. uh, teach or even talk also mm. uh, so i understand hindi whatever you are teaching uh, if i stuck then and there i will note down and i will uh, watch the recorded uh, video after the live went over okay so initially you used to face a lot of problem but slowly and slowly you got to used to it yes sir okay and what about the months uh, one month let's suppose before the exam uh, what was your strategy then and how uh, you plan used to plan your day when you were more close to the exam date yes uh one month before the exam i was very serious mm. uh, like uh, i need to do all the uh, tests especially uh, the test mock tests i need to practice as well as the important tricks or formulas i need to remember for physical chemistry mm. as well as sometimes for inorganic also so i uh, i uh, separately put one note and i wrote all the important points or formulas for physical chemistry hmm. that last one month i practiced all the uh, formulas and uh, important points i uh, to remember hmm. so time i managed uh, apart from the live lectures i studied and practiced the class notes as well as the previous year questions sir and uh, what was the contribution of test series and uh, uh, what were uh, your marks in the test series yes sir test series actually helped because um, if we randomly go and sit in the exam we, we don't know how to hmm. uh, approach and what are the time uh, from what uh, part we need to spend how many time how many hours we need to know so hmm. yeah test series is very important and um, i got actually i got very good marks in test series sir. so i hmm. got 140 130 and all um, but i can know because this sometimes then and there will be previous year questions it is hmm. easy for us to do mock test but i know main exam will not be like that so i always used to separate uh, 10 marks or 15 marks from this mock test mm. as you said already in the live lectures mm. youtube so i always used to separate uh, 10 marks from the mock test and mm. yeah um, i got 120 130 marks okay um so it was a uh, uh, good marks in the test series and uh, uh, what was uh, uh, how you feel during the examination 3 hours and uh, how you manage that pressure and what was your strategy for attempting the question paper like we use generally go from part c to b then to a what was your strategy same strategy sir i used to follow from c b a okay so i spent uh, in 3 hours i spent 1 hour 1 uh, 1 1 hour 15 minutes for part c Hmm. then uh, one hour for uh, part b then i'll go again to part c if i have any doubt or mark for review questions hmm. then last only i will attempt the aptitude part a so uh, yeah uh, if i didn't uh, 
get a point to answer the question i'll put for mark and review mm-hmm. like bookmark the question then i'll move to the next question i think that's how i manage the time this time so because last time i i uh, i don't have time because uh, i used to stick in the one question when i don't know the question mm-hmm. in part c and all so at uh, this time i thought okay if i don't know the question i can go to the next question and come back again so i that's how i managed the time and how much time you devoted to part c and what was your attempt in the part c so part c that's a 1 uh, hour 15 minutes i used to spend okay. for part c and um, this time i got uh, uh, only uh, i got i attempted 20 questions from part c sir hmm. um 20 questions were right i attempted 21 questions 22 questions two questions were wrong 20 okay. questions were right so you were focused on your accuracy why didn't you go for 25 uh, did you feel that you can attempt 25 or you were uh, playing I, safe there i can attempt 25 sir but hmm. i have a uh, doubt on uh, options okay. so like if i attempt that 25 questions i'll be getting negative mark so hmm. i thought okay if i stick to 22 questions itself it's fine so i stick to 22 question and what was your attempt in part b how many questions did you attempt it there part b i attempted uh, uh, te- uh, i attempted very less in part b sir i attempted only 12 to 12 to 15, 13 questions hmm. and uh, i got everything right okay so i think uh, only two to three questions were wrong in the entire paper then yes sir part a one question part uh, c two questions only three questions were wrong okay it means you your accuracy is really very high <laughs> yes sir okay uh let's suppose some students give uh, the csr net exam more than once and they get stuck in the figure of 70 to 80 marks and what will be your suggestion what improvements you have did your in attempt uh, and how they can cope up this cope up with this and they can cross the barrier for the csr yes sir i also face the problem because uh, i got only as i said i got only 67 65 mark last time hmm. so i but for, in my case i didn't prepare well i don't have time because when i was in msc i was focused at my theory part i didn't focus at the aptitude and uh, question solving session and all okay. so for me time was the thing so this time i spent time especially for csar exam so uh if the mark is less also we need to analyze what is the reason for it i thought for my case the uh, time mm. is the problem i didn't spend time for my preparation at all okay. so i think if we spend special you know uh, our time to preparation i think we can achieve mark is not a matter so last time also 60 65 mark and my first attempt were really less 40 for uh, less than mm. 40 only so mark is not a problem if we keep on uh, practicing and uh, revising revising the concepts is very important sir all right so finally you have achieved this milestone so what are your future plans after this sir i want to do phd uh, in uh, central institutes like iit iic okay. so i applied a phd there uh, interviews are still coming in the upcoming weeks i need to prepare also so okay. yeah sir phd doing phd now so how is the preparation going on for the interviews Yes, sir. I was preparing. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous also. I don't know the, how the questions will be there, hmm. and I was just revising the concepts and uh, I was taking notes and what are the questions they will ask. So I was thinking about it. I'm doing my preparation. Okay. So continue your preparation, and I uh, know that you will be clearing that. And uh, wish you all the best for the coming future from the entire IFS Chemistry team. And thank you so much for sharing your views. Thank you sir thank you so much thank you so much